Susie Neal. And I'm Clark Neal. Together, we own Unicoi Preserves. We're a homegrown company in the North Georgia mountains with original recipes for gourmet jams and jellies. You can find our custom local products on the shelves at your local Ingalls markets. We're in the deli, we're not with the jelly, which is why we're so excited to join you here today at the Ingalls table. Like Ingalls, we have a passion for local food and that's what we're preparing today. We're going to make our salted caramel peach ham two ways. For a full list of ingredients, check out the shopping list below. You can print a list and take it with you or pull it up on your phone when you're at the store. Now, now let's, let's get, get cooking. cooking. Hi, we just got back from Ingalls and we're going to show you how to make our salted caramel peach glazed ham two different ways. We're going to cook one of them in the oven and show you how you can cook one on the grill as well. This is a spiral sliced ham. It's pre-cooked. We're basically just going to be heating this back up in the oven and then applying a glaze to the outside of it. We're going to put a uh, barbecue rub on the outside of this. I like to use a sweet and spicy rub. It's got a little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet. Uh, you can use your favorite rub on that. But since this ham is already spiral sliced, I like to take this, take my chef's knife and score it. This way when we apply the glaze later, it allows the glaze to kind of run down in between the layers of the ham. I just score this on all four sides. Be careful with that knife. That's a big knife, Clark. That's right. Big knife for the big job. <laughs> This still has a bone in the middle of it, so it'll hold its shape while it's in the oven. Okay, you want me to this sprinkle a, the rub? Yeah, a two-person operation. I'm going to hold the ham while you sprinkle the rub liberally all over it. All right, I guess I don't need to take the whole lid off. Let me just flip the top. All right, look out, Clark. Here's where I'm messy and Clark is not. I always put more than you think you need. And why we do this is two people. I like to kind of pull apart these layers and in get some of that rub deep into the body of the ham. That looks pretty good. It smells good too already. Are you going in the oven? All right. Open up, Mr. Ham. Ooh, that's how I really need some. That looks kind of naked. Get on in there. How's that, Clark? Is that as much rub as you would put on nope. there? Keep going. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you when to stop. And I always like to put some on the cut side too. Okay. All right. I can do that. All right. Is that good? That's good. We're going right. to place this cut side down on that pan that no one knows about. Yeah. This is that broiler pan that everybody has hidden away. This is a good time to use that pan. You get to use it once a year. We got the ham. We've got the barbecue rub on the ham. We're going to add two cups of water to the bottom of this pan. This way, it's going to keep the ham moist as it's baking. Nobody wants a dry ham on the holidays. And we're going to insert a temperature probe. If you have an instant read thermometer, you can check it that way. But if you've got a probe, you can leave in. Just find a spot in the ham that's not on the bone. Put it in. I've got to tend it with foil. And this will help keep the ham moist as it's coming up to temperature. So we're, going to, we're going to heat this in the oven 275 degrees until it reads an internal temperature of 120 degrees. Or you can put this on your grill and cook it that way. So we're going to put this in the oven and we'll be right back to show you how to make the glaze to go on the ham. Okay, great. Clark just put the ham into the oven. So now we're going to make the glaze. So we're going to start out by taking half a stick of butter. Put it in a saucepan. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat on. What kind of temperature do you think, Clark? Uh, medium. Okay. All right. Then we're going to do, this is brown sugar with a pinch of salt. Half a cup of brown sugar. And last but not least, eight ounces of our salted caramel peach spread. like our burner starting to heat up a little bit. All right, if you'd open that other one for me, Clark, that would be awesome. All right, thank you. So this is a nice twist on a glaze for your ham. Gonna give you a little bit of extra fruitiness, which is nice because a ham is so salty sometimes that the sweetness really cuts through that. 
All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna crank up the heat a little bit. We want the butter to melt, the brown sugar to dissolve, and we're gonna cook this down, let it reduce a little bit to make a nice thick glaze. Okay, that's reduced down now, it's nice and thick. Uh, we're getting ready to put this on the ham. We're gonna take this off the burner, pull the ham out of the oven, glaze it, and show you how to plate it up. We told you earlier about doing this ham two ways, one in the oven, or you could do this on your grill. The great thing about using the grill is it frees up your oven for doing your casseroles during holiday time. So this is a great way you can cook your turkey or your ham, your, your major protein on the grill and use your oven for your casseroles. So we've got the ham on the grill. I've got this grill set up indirect over a water pan at 200 degrees. And this has got some apple wood chunks in the firebox to give it a little fresh smoke flavor. That's the only thing different about cooking it in the oven. This ham's ready to glaze, and it's the same process that we do for the oven ham. So I'm going to go back inside and show you how we glaze it. Okay, the ham's out of the oven. We're getting ready to take the foil off and put the glaze on. I've turned the oven up to 350 degrees. We're going to cook it uncovered with the glaze on until it gets to a temperature of 140 degrees. Susie, you want to spoon that glaze over there? I will. Okay. The cool thing about using this broiler pan is it's got slits, so any excess glaze will run off and pool in that water and it won't burn on your pan. It's easy cleanup at the end of the day. And Clark likes that because you know who's washing this pan, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's not going to be Susie. <laughs> but those slits that we put in the ham allows the glaze to kind of get down in between the nooks and crannies of the ham. So it gets down so you're not just stuck with a glaze on the outside of the ham. This smells so good, Clark. I think it works out great cooking it both in the oven and on the grill. How's that look? Do we need more glaze? More glaze. More glaze? Okay. You can use the whole pan, the whole pan. Oh, okay. All right, that's, that's looking just good. That's beautiful. The oven's at 350 degrees now. This is going to go in until it reaches an internal temperature of 140 degrees, and then we'll pull it out and we'll serve it. Okay, we got both of our hams in. I got one off the grill and one out of the oven. Uh, we're getting ready to plate them up, but I wanted to show you the differences. They look very similar. Like again, the, the good thing about cooking on the grill is it frees up your oven for your casseroles for your holiday time. So you can both be cooking, not just one sitting on the couch while the other's doing all the work. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So there we have it. This is our salted caramel peach glazed ham cooked two different ways. We want to thank you so much for joining us here at the Ingalls Table. Remember, you can find recipes, tips, tricks, and more at EnglesTable.com. Until next time, we'll see you online.